Hi, my name's Tony Eels, Dogs, Queens and Video News Channel. We're here today, it's Thursday, day, it feels like for, apparently it's day seven for the echo, it just feels like forever, and it's gun dog day. So we're here, we're doing all the gun dog breeds, we've just completed, Weimaranas, Welshies and Pointers have just finished. We're about to get ready to go with the group, um, and Mr John Walsh from Ireland will be doing the group today, and we're about to get ready, so... Half of the group, half of the breeds are already marshalling in the marshalling area, and we get ready to go. So, first breeds into the ring right in about two minutes. Ready to go. Stay tuned. Now we, now we have the American Cocker Spaniel into the ring. The English Setter. Now we have the Gordon Setter. Now we have the Gordon Setter, the heaviest of the three setter, four Setter breeds. The Hungarian Gizla. The Hungarian Vishla, the smooth coat, showed by Lollipop. Now we have the the Hungarian wirehead Vishla, which a breed that was created by breeding the German wirehead pointer, the Slovakian pointer, and the Hungarian Vishla together. The Hungarian red and white setter, the sorry, the Irish red and white setter. And there we have the Legato. The Labrador Retrieval. 1694. The Labrador, it's a junior dog, a black male, the pointer, Bruno. 1747. The English Pointer. Yeah. And now we have the breeds, the Bracco Italiano. The Bracco. The Brittany. The Brittany. The Chesapeake Bay Retrieval. The Chesapeake Bay Retriever from uh, this uh, UK import. The English Springer Spaniel. The Springer Spaniel. The Field Spaniel. The Field Spaniel. The Flat Coated Retriever. The Flat Coated Retriever. The German Sword Pointer. The GSP. The German Wirehead Pointer. GWP. The Golden Retriever. The Golden. The Irish Setter, 1865. The Irish Setter. The Irish Water Spaniel, 1870. Irish Water Spaniel. The Nova Scotia Duck Tiling Retriever, The Toller. The, uh, the Spanish Water Dog. The Spanish Water Dog. This is the first time we've ever seen them at the Brisbane the Royal. 1889. Weimarana. The Weimarana Longhead, 1892. The Longhead. And finally, the Welsh Springer Spaniel. Ladies and gentlemen, these are all your best degree winners for 2019, the Gundog Show. Please make them all welcome. Show your appreciation. These dogs have done exceptionally well to get this far in the competition today. And they've all done exceptionally well in their own rights. So our judge, Mr. Walsh, hasn't judged the first set of uh, exhibits, so he'll go over them. And then, once he's done, once he's once he's assessed the dogs he hasn't seen today, we'll continue with the judging for this in group. This is a good time just to relax the dogs, let them get back together again. Maybe the owners need to relax too. Such a long day. This has been a long day for so many of these dogs. They've traveled, some of these dogs have traveled quite a, quite a distance to get here. Got a little pile of food. We now have the English Cocker Spaniel. Best of breed winner over a large number of cockers. 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still wondering what some of these breeds are, they will, they will still be in the exhibition hall after the show, after the judging. I'm sure there'll be a chance to catch up with some of the breeders. If not, go to the Dogs Queensland website. In there, there'll be a list of breeders, and there'll be a list of breeders and breeds. You can get information about breed clubs. Uh, in this particular case, we've had many of these uh, dogs have their own separate breed clubs. There's also the Gun Dogs and Heavy Breeds Club and the Gun Dogs Club itself. Now with the American Cocker, the smallest of the Gun Dogs, doing his down and back. Lovely young black dog. One of only two breeds in the Gun Dog group which should have a sloping top line on the move. The American Cocker Spaniel and the Irish Setter. Had a chance to see some dogs that you really did like, and you think, gee, I would have just wished I got a photo of those today. You could go to Ingrid Matchkey's photography website. A lot of these dogs will be put up on her page, and you'll be able to buy photos from there. Now we have the English setter, about to do its down and back. It's a blue belt, and on Saturday, we will have. The best in show. And at the best in show, we will have all of our best in group winners. The best in group from group one, group two, the toys, uh, the toys and the terriers. We'll have the best in group from today. We will have the hound winner. We'll, we'll have the working dog winner. We'll have the utility dog winner. And we'll have the non sporting winner plus all the class and groups. So there will be a large array of dogs here. So if you didn't see the dogs you wanted to do today, come on Saturday and I'm sure you'll find one or two. As I said, while you're here, go to the Dogs Queensland Pavilion and you'll find plenty of information about the breeds that we have on display. So now we're looking through the Hungarian group one. Uh, We have the Hungarian wine here as well. Hungarian Wirehead Vizsla is actually a fairly new breed, only created in the start of this century or early in this century by crossing a number of breeds, including the German Wirehead Pointer, to the Hungarian Smoothhead Vizsla to create a hardier breed that could deal with going into the colder water in Hungary to do the retrieving of Gundal work. Exhibit 1678. Now the Irish Red and White is a very old breed of setter. Hasn't changed much at all from its inception. Now we have the Legato is the next dog to be gone over.
Delgado's doing its down and back. An Italian gun dog, highly trimmed and specialised truffle dog. Now we have a Labrador, a black male. Labs, of course. Labs come in three colours, the chocolate, black and yellow. Now we have the English pointer. Now this English pointer, her name's Portia, she actually went to America. She's not long come home. She actually won the American Pointer National twice. It was a huge feat for an Australian dog. It's getting a little older now, but lovely bitch. Classic black and white pointer. moving around. Mr. Walsh has already judged these dogs, so he's just going to move them, have one last look to refresh his memory about what they felt like. Have the Brittany. And now the Brittany. Uh, Chesapeake Bay Retriever. The English Springer Spaniel. So now we have the English Springer Spaniel. The Field Spaniel. The flat coat. We have the short hair. The German short hair pointer, or GST. The German wire hair. Next we have the German short hair pointer. Wire hair is a larger and a harder working dog than a short hair. They were bred by mixing four different breeds in Germany. The Kurzer, which is a short hair, the Stickelhaar, the Poodle Pointer, and now we're going over the Golden. Irish setter. 
Now, being that the judge is from Ireland, you would think that he has seen an Irish setter or two in his time. <coughs> Pardon me. It's an older open dog. Now we have the Irish Water Spaniel, another Irish breed. Now the Irish Water Spaniel. The Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever, or the Nova, or the Toller. The Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. A young dog called Grub. Now the Spanish Water Dog, a fascinating breed that we've only just had in the last year here in Australia. They're a corded, or actually they're a, a matted dog. They're not corded like a poolie, they're actually matte, more like a Burma, Burma Masco um, working dog from Group 5. The Weimarana. The Weimarana. The long haired Weimarana. The Weimarana long hair. And finally, the Welsh Springer Spaniel. So here we get the gun dog. Now, this looks like to me looks like Dylan who actually won best in show here in about 2012 I think it might have been so judge is making his way down the line to have a look at the last of the breeds one last consideration I would think by this point he's made his decision what's going to be his best in group winner. He might be looking for his reserve. I actually have absolutely no idea what he's going to pick. For me, a couple of standouts in the lineup are the American Cocker. The Pointer, maybe the Labrador, the Legato, the Brittany. The Springer, maybe the Golden, the Weimarana. He really is spoiled for choice. So many quality dogs in a lineup. And I think the choice is made. Now. He's made his decision, and I'm trying to lip read, but he's speaking with an Irish accent, so it's kind of hard to figure out. I would not be at all surprised if it was the Golden Retriever. Please stop. Twenty nineteen is one. Eight, four, one, the Golden Retriever. Yes! The Golden no. Retriever will be your best in the Retriever. I require 18.56. Well done to the Golden Retriever. I was more excited about not getting kissed by one of the co-owners. But he went and did it anyway. Open class, ladies and gentlemen. So 1841 will be your best. We have our reserve golden come back in now. The golden retriever. Runner up. And I think maybe a Weimaraner. I have no idea how he's going to choose a runner-up in group out of this slot. 
so many beautiful dogs, beautifully presented. For me, the American well Cocker Spaniel right. certainly catches my eye. Or the pointer, but I th think... He hasn't said he turned away. He is looking at the American Cocker. He has decided. But here comes Mr. James. For the gun dogs this year, the 2019 the RNA show will be one, six, five, six, the American Cocker Spaniel. Mm, well, there you go, the American Cocker is runner up in group. What a striking young dog. Absolutely beautifully presented. Ladies and gentlemen,